now. Okay. Hey, welcome to another episode of Fun with Physics. Um, today, we're actually going to finish building my uh, radio telescope that I've been working on for my undergraduate research project. Um, I have a whole bunch of other time lapse videos. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them at the beginning or at the end, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, this is basically almost finished product. All that we have left now is to assemble the hardware. And uh, I just built this base with my mom out of wood and then uh, mounted an old satellite dish to it. Um, I painted my dish. You can paint your dish, but just remember don't paint your LND, um, your low noise block down converter. Because uh, if you own, oh, don't use anything reflective, uh, any kind of glossy paint or uh, anything metallic or shiny, nothing like that, because it's going to reflect uh, the signal from your LND. Um, so, that being said, uh, we can just go ahead and get started. Um, what I did here is I have a battery pack that we stripped this coaxial cable. Um, and down in the middle of this cable, there's gonna be a little like a singular rod. And then around that is a bunch of filler and then some little shreds of like copper wire. And so you're gonna connect the middle rod to the red wire and then uh, all of the copper uh, kind of filaments, uh, wrap those up around the brown wire, the black wire. Um, and then this is just a battery pack that I got from walmart.com. I'm gonna put a link to it uh, in the description. Um, and so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect our LNB <laughs> easier if I come down here. Okay, so That connects there. My satellite dish is really old and weathered, so I don't think it's gonna scroll on all the way. And then this piece. There we go, come on. Oh, and I lost one of my screws, um, so I'm going to be using tape for part of this. Don't be like me. Put your screws in a bag. Okay, I guess that's all that one wants to do. There we go. I have the wrong kind of screwdriver because I don't have any tools, so don't make fun of me. <laughs> It'll work though. It'll work enough to get on here and get a signal. This is the part that we're going to use tape for because I lost my screw. Okay. Wish I had duct tape, but I don't. This is so super <laughs> rigged up, but it's going to work. Okay, see? And it works just like that. It's fine. 
Okay, so now we're going to connect. Uh, and this is just a satellite finder. Um, I'm going to put a link to this uh, in the description as well. Um, this is just what's going to actually find our signal for us. And so, oh wait. To L and B. See, it tells you which one's which on the on the back of the thing. And then um, it says uh, to receiver um, on the other end of this. This is to REC, but uh, it should mean the power source. So we're going to plug the other end of our satellite finder into our power source. button on this it should just be on oh we got power okay and turn our decibels up hmm oh there we go turn it up to about three or four and so now Yeah, see, we're pointed right about at the sun. So now, if you look, we're listening to the sound of the sun right now on a satellite finder. How fun! Fun with physics! Yay! Um, but that's basically it that I wanted to do. Uh, I got my signal out of it, so I'm happy. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to uh, use my laptop. I have some software on my laptop. It's called uh, Skypipe. And um, I will put a link to that in the description as well. So you guys can download that software if you want to. And then I'm probably going to either make a part two or just mash it in with this video later. Um, but I'm going to get my laptop out and we're going to look at the, uh, the readings that it's going to give us uh, from listening to this uh, sound. So that'll be super exciting. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, if you're not already, subscribe. I'm doing better at making more videos. So uh yeah, thanks for watching.